Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And this video is a video response to Lever Ashen Gypsy, who asks exactly how do you calculate how much of a certain alloy to mix to get a certain BHM? How do you actually calculate that? Well, you know we've done videos before showing the mixing of alloys to get say BHN 18 this kind of thing and I've answered comments and questions about how much of a ratio of one alloy to mix with rain scrap to get a certain BHN but I never did show the exact calculations so let's go over that and what you're looking at here are two big bars of 16-1 alloy from Rotometals. And I bring this up because Rotometals has a formula on their website that helps us mix our alloys. Let's go ahead and look at that first. And then we're going to look at Wiederlauter TV has a grid system to calculate the mixing ratios. And then we're going to look at the Cast Bullets site because they have a lead alloy calculator that can be used also to figure out the ratios of mixing to get certain BHNs. So three ways we're going to discuss tonight. Let's go to the Rotometals site first. So you see Rotometals has been in business helping casters of bullets for 80 years. There aren't too many sites that have a formula to help us mix our lead alloys. And here's the formula. Brunel hardness number equals 8.60, which is the Brunel hardness of pure lead. And you add to that a conversion factor of 0.29 times the percent tin. And then you add 0.92 times the percent antimony. If you add all those together, you get the BHN of the alloy you're working with. But this can also be used to help us figure out our mixing. So to apply the Rotometals formula to get our mixing, this is the way we do it. Our target is BHN 15. To get the target, range scrap needs 4 more BHN to add to the 11 it already has to get to BHN 15. Now our super hard alloy is really good because it has so much antimony in it, but it needs to keep 7% of that antimony back that's 7 BHN to add to the pure lead of 8.6 to keep the BHN 15 with the super hard you're adding so it doesn't get diluted. Now that gives us a factor for how much is made available to raise the BHN of other alloys. So super hard is 30% antimony, 30% minus the 7 you gotta keep to maintain its own BHN 15 gives us 23 23 percent that can be used to raise the BHN of other alloys so since we need four four goes into 23 six times so therefore six pounds of range scrap can be added with one pound of super hard to get 15 BHN 15 so the ratio is six pounds range scrap to one pound of super hard alloy and that will give us BHN 15. For BHN 18, here's the calculation for that. Our range scrap needs to get 7 more BHN to get to BHN 18. To maintain BHN 18 on its own, you got to keep 9% back to add to the 8.6 to maintain the 18. Then 30 minus the 9 to maintain allows us a 21% or 21 plus factor to be used to raise the BHN of other alloys. Since we need 7, 7 goes into 21, 3 pounds of range scrap can be raised to BHN 18 with 1 pound of super hard. So the ratio that mixes 3 pounds range scrap to one pound super hard to get BHN 18. This works very well. I use this formula a lot. Now Marcus over at Wiederlauter TV 
has basically taken the formula that we've just seen and put it into a grid. But we round off all these numbers somehow and it doesn't come out exactly the same. But the way this works is you put the target in the middle. That's BHN15. And then the diagonals are your components to mix together to get the target. So this is BHN11 for range scrap. Target's 15, so the difference is 4. That number 4 we've seen before. Now, the hardness of super hard alloy is actually more than 36. But we're using 36. So when you go 36 and take 15 off of that, you get 21. Now, the 4 divides into 21 five point something times. And if this is a, a larger number here, then this is a larger number here, so it's closer to 1 to 6. But the 1 ratio to 5 point whatever, or 6, is pretty darn close to our 1 to 6 that we got with the formula. So with Marcus's grid, we would mix 1 pound of super hard with 5 pounds of rain scrap, actually 5 point something. And that would give us the mix to get BHN 15. And the same thing happens when you go to get your BHN 18. Again, the 36 is a little bigger number, but the difference is 18. And then this way, difference is 7. There's that number 7 again. So you divide 7 and 18 and you get 1 to 2 and a half. Actually a little bigger than 2 and a half. So it's close to 3. But if you get 1 to 3, it's the same as the formula figured out. This way you get 1 pound of super hard mixed with 2 and a half pounds of rain scrap to get your target of BHN 18. It works pretty well. And for our purposes, when you're mixing 1 to 2 and a half or 1 to 3, it's basically the same. So this is a good way to figure out our mix also. Finally, if you do a Google search on lead alloy calculator, it'll lead you to the Cast Bullets website. And they have there a lead alloy calculator that will help us mix alloys. So let's go there. You get this zip file that if you download that, it'll kick in a Excel file that can be used to calculate our mixing. Let's do that. So here is the file, the Excel file. It's actually a spreadsheet. And the areas in yellow are actually the calculating areas that if you plug in various alloys and hit the enter key, it'll show you the BHN on the lower right. And when you get the BHN you want, then the various mix ratios can be used to get that. This is very handy. However, you should know that the shooters and casters that subscribe to this idea here oftentimes has a problem with the rotometals site because rotometals formula has 8.6 for the BHN of pure lead. And you'll see right at the top there on line 4 that this has a BHN of 5 for pure lead. So there's some problems there for one side to accept and not accept the other side, the road metal side. But really there shouldn't be any problems with that because we'll show you later on that it really doesn't make that much difference. However, let's discuss the BHN of pure lead just for a little while there. Is it 5 or is it 8.6? Now, I've used the Rotometal site for, a, for quite a while because they've been in the business for 80 years and I figured that counts for something. But let's see about the BHN of lead being 5 or 8.6. First, let's take a known, and that is linotype. Linotype, as we know, is 4% tin and 12% antimony. And linotype is BHN 22. These are all a given. So here's the formula from Rotomels. It's BHN equals 8.6, which is the pure lead BHN, plus 0.3% of tin, plus 0.9% of antimony. 
So we got everything we need. 22, which is a known, equals 8.6 plus 0.3 times 4 gives you 1.2. 0.9 times 12% gives you 10.8. You add those together, you get 20.6, which is pretty darn close to 22. If you take 5 as the BHN of lead, then you got to short this by 3.6 and then 22 does not equal 17. So this formula happens to work very well with linotype that we know. Does that mean the BHN of lead is 8.6 or 5? Does it matter? Problems about BHN of lead being 5, and that is when you go to the chilled shot with 2% of antimony, you get a BHN of 10.4, which means that it got 5 more BHN, 5.4 more BHN, with 2% more antimony, or 2% antimony. So it looks like 1% of antimony gives you 2.5 in BHN. Well, if you apply that to antimonial lead, which is 5% antimony, if 1% gives you 2.5 BHN, then you got, then you have 12.5 um, BHN. If you add that to the 5 that's already in the pure lead, you should get 17. And you don't, you get 13. So there's some incongruities with the idea of BHN of pure lead being 5. Is it or isn't it? Doesn't matter. The real neat thing about this program is that you can actually enter up to 10 different alloys to mix together. And when you press the enter key, it'll give you the BHN of that total mix right down there in the lower right. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and entered range scrap that has 0, 10, and it has 3% antimony. Now, if you go up here, antimonial lead is what the same thing as range scrap. And they consider 5% antimony as what the antimonial lead is. Well, I'm just taking 3 to be conservative. Now the super hard alloy is 30% antimony. Now what, what you do is you just enter ratios there. Say you take a weight in pounds, whatever it is, and you start throwing numbers in there, hit the enter key. And when you get 14.9 or 15, that's our target BHN, that's it. You can use those ratios for what we mix with. Now I happen to go ahead and add six pounds of rain scrap and one pound of super hard and certainly you get BHN 15. That's the same result that we got with the rotometals formula. And essentially the same as with our Wiederlader TV Marcus gave us. So let's see what happens now to get BHN 18. So I simply doubled the amount of super hard. So that six pounds of rain scrap and two pounds of super hard gives us BHN 18. Well, 6 to 2 is the same as 3 to 1. That's the same as the results from our rotometals formula and essentially the same as our Wiederlader grid. So all these are good ways to use to figure out what our mix is. All you shooters and casters out there, good casting to you and uh, we can use any of these. So you might want to download this uh, formula. You might want to use the Wiederlader grid or the Rotomel's formula. All works. Bye for now.